doing? The Sage of Mr. <gasps> Guys, I see the Sage of Mr. Badger. Imagine like Azula from The Last Airbender growing up and this is what she grew up into. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Realm of Magic. So as you can see, we are bl back at the, I almost said black, we are back at the Glimmer Brook Palace. Oh gosh, that's like a kind of a tongue twister to say a little bit. But I also, you guys could see, changed Corinne's hair because in the last episode it kept clipping on her back and it was very distracting. So I changed her hair a little bit. I really love this hairstyle too, you guys. It's so, it's probably one of my favorite hairstyles. If I could use it all the time, I totally would. Okay, so she is back at the Glimmer Brook Palace and a few days has passed by since the last episode. She has been practicing her magic so, so much. She's back here at the Glimmer Brook Palace because the Emperor wanted to talk to Corinne and King Jared about their plan for everything because they've just been like plotting a lot of things and it takes a lot of strategy and, and figuring stuff out. So it is going to take some time for them to create a plan and be able to follow it and everything as well. Oh no, you guys need to sit back down. So Corinne has actually learned a few different spells. I'm pretty sure, let's see, let's go to her because one of them is the, Infernate, I think. And then the other, yeah, so Infernate, so she can instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire. I, I've only tried that on objects. I haven't tried that on humans. So I wonder if she can do that on humans. And then Zip Zap, so harness like electrical energy and give something a jolt. So that's cool. So she still has several things to also learn from the Untamed Magic category. I think she is going to specialize in the Untamed Magic and she also kind of needs to learn mis Mischief Magic too because she is going to be going up against the Sage of Mischief Magic. So it's really important for her to learn that as well. But I think the Untamed Magic is supposed to be the most powerful. So it's probably going to benefit her the most to be able to learn that. So they're trying to derive a plan. They haven't even met the Sage of Untamed Magic yet, so that's kind of a big thing because that's kind of their main person. Like, that's who they think is behind everything. They think that, like, they're trying to be more careful because they don't know if the other sages might be, be behind this too, but Emperor Jow doesn't think so. He's known the Sage of Untamed Magic for quite a while, and even though he is super powerful, he's, like, still just a really good person and just wants what's best for the realm and for all of the spellcasters and everything, so he's technically a good guy, but they don't know yet if there is something, some sort of ulterior motive for his actions or if it's just the Sage of Mischief Magic that's behind everything. So basically what they're saying right now is that they need to find the Sage of Mischief Magic and it's actually surprising that they haven't seen her yet. Be oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Little baby Taga, she's just running in here completely naked. <laughs> We're kind of in the middle of an important meeting. You need to run back to- He literally just came in here, streaked, ran around, and left. That was so cute. Okay, so basically they said that they need to find now the Sage of Mischief Magic and that it's kind of a little bit strange that they actually haven't met her yet because it is a pretty, like, small realm. So people haven't seen her in a while and they're like wondering what she's up to and why they haven't met her yet. So now they need to go and find her, like actually find her. So King Jared, he has not been trying to be a spellcaster and we don't know if he's going to. If Corinne ends up needing help, then he might, but I feel like Emperor Zhao told him like, look, it's very dangerous for people our age because he's about to become an elder and like, a, we, like I'm pretty sure his birthday is in like a few days. So it's very dangerous for us to like, or people of our age to become spellcasters. It's just like gonna take a huge toll on your physical and mental health. So I would not recommend it. So King Jared was like, well, okay, if, if he says so then. So if Corinne really needs help, because obviously King Jared loves his, his kingdom and he's willing to risk his life for his kingdom. So so he said if Corinne really does need help, then he will become a spellcaster. But if if not, then Corinne's got it, guys. I really do think she has it. So we're going to let Corinne kind of handle this, but I am gonna have him keep accompanying her to the realm for a while. So we're gonna have Corinne travel to the realm and then, oh, I guess, yeah, cause she has the stone now. So the stone lets her travel to the realm whenever she wants to, but it doesn't let her bring anybody with her. So when you go to the portal, you can say like travel to the realm with so and so, but you can't do that with the, what is it? Like, I, I guess it's just like a magical stone, a Glimmerbrook stone or something like that. So Corinne's just going by herself for now, but I think that King Jared needs to catch up with her and go through the actual portal and go meet her there because 
it's kind of important that he's there too. Okay, so both Corinne and King Jared are back here at the realm. So this actually is the Sage of Practical Magic. So I feel like they were just talking to the Sage of Untamed Magic and he has gotten so close to Corinne because he's been training her and he doesn't really, like they kind of made up a reason why, they're, why they were are here, but they haven't told him the actual reason why they're here because they don't know who they can trust really. So Emperor Jow said like, yes, he's a good man, but maybe you should just kind of stay on guard a little bit. Don't tell him anything to like, don't give away too much information because word spreads really fast in the realm of magic. So you don't want the sage of mischief magic to find out. So they, oh wait, did, oh, does enchant, oh, whoops, enchanting introduction. <laughs> I forgot that that means like a flirty thing. Okay, well, that was my fault and I didn't mean to do that. So uh, let's just go back to relationships and we're going to, we're gonna clear his relationship with King Jared and then I'm gonna have him introduce himself again because I didn't mean to do that. I forgot, I thought that's a charming or cheerful introduction at first, but it did not, it said, it said enchanting. So that's not what I meant to do. So my fault, no. He loves his wife very much, so we're not gonna have him flirt with someone else. So I want them, I don't wanna go to the dueling grounds. I want to go to, yeah, Caster's Alley because I really want Corinne to get a familiar, you guys. I, okay, so, and I had thought about adding, like creating a team with Corinne and having some other Sims from the Royal Family series join her and help her, but, I'm tr I don't want to bring too many Sims from the Royal Family series in this because I, the Royal Family series is just like such a realistic series to me that it does seem a little bit strange to bring more in here. And like obviously we already have one of our characters in here and has become a spellcaster. But I feel like this is just a kind of a temporary thing. I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing. So I was debating, I forgot why I was saying that. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think it's a familiar. So like it'd be a little strange for her to have a magical familiar. So, uh maybe she should just have a pet as a familiar. I don't really know yet. We'll have to, oh, familiars, okay. Oh, familiars. I always said familiars because I thought it was like an animal, like F-U-R, but apparently not. So that's the, where you get familiars and then rooms and crystals. What do crystals do? Oh, wait, can you get fairies? Oh, I don't know what that does. That's interesting. Um, But I was debating, wait, why can't I get a familiar here? Oh, oh, is that the familiar? Wait guys, is this how you get a familiar is with the orb? Oh, that is how you get familiars with the orb. <gasps> I did not know that. Oh, okay. So my thing was since uh, since the royal family is so realistic, I was kind of thinking of just having her have like a dog or something as a familiar. I feel weird. Like I don't want to get rid of the familiar after this is over. I don't know, but then they have like an owl, which is pretty cool. And then the little snub nose leaf bat is the cutest. Okay, well, none of these would be one I would get anyway, so I'm gonna have to try to find another one. If I get the chance to find the owl or possibly the phoenix, maybe I'll get it. If we don't find one or like the orb I want by this episode, then you guys let me know if you think we should just get a dog or one of like these magical familiars because I don't want to bring it back to the royal family and have this magical thing because I want to keep the royal family series like still pretty realistic. I know we have mermaids for one of the royal families, but it's not the same to me. Wait, but she could get a broom. A broom would be really cool, guys, for her to travel with and it would just be like a lot. Oh wait, did it just close? I don't know why I did that, but I'm really sad that you can't actually like do anything with these at all. Oh gosh, but there's fireworks coming out of this one, which is really cool. Anyway, all right, so re return to HQ because there's nothing really here that I, I want. Um, although Corinne is just practicing singing right now and I don't know why she's supposed to be practicing her magic. So she needs to, we need to find the Sage of Mist. <gasps> Guys, I see her, I see her, I see the Sage of Mr. Magic, she's back. <gasps> I, whoa, 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 oh God, okay. <laughs> oh my God, guys, she's like really scary looking. So this is the Sage of Un, oh, no, no, not Ante Magic. That's the Sage of Mischief. Wait, where'd she go? Yeah, Sage of Mischief Magic. So, I in the last, uh, in the Create a Sim video that I had of the royal family, I had someone comment and tell me that you should name a Princess Azula. And they were saying like, it's this character from Avatar The Last Airbender. And I was like, I am one step ahead of you because I already named a character Azula. So the Sage of Mischief Magic name is Azula. 
because I just watched the Avatar Last Airbender like a few weeks ago and finished it in like a week because my friends found out that I have never seen it before. So they, my friends made my boyfriend make me watch it and it was so good. So I f figured Azula was a very fitting name for her. So this is Azula, the Sage of Mischief Magic. Imagine like Azula from The Last Airbender growing up and this is what she grew up into. So Corinne then, and she was actually just very close to King Jared. So I feel, oh, okay. King King Jared is just doing push-ups right now, but I feel like King Jared was like, uh, Corinne, you have to get over here. The Sage of Mischief Magic has been spotted. So I'm thinking that Corinne needs to, like, this is part of their plan. Corinne needs to meet the Sage of Mischief Magic, because the Sage of Mischief Magic is just like, or Zula, she's just living among everybody right now. Like, no one really knows what she's up to, but the Sage of Untamed Magic kind of hinted that she's been acting really weird lately, and they think she might be up to something, and she's always obviously been a huge troublemaker, so they think something's going on. So Corinne's plan is to get close to Azula and to try to have her teach her mischief magic because she does offer like lessons, but only to people who she think is worthy. So Corinne is going to introduce herself to her and we will see if she thinks Corinne is worthy to learn mischief magic. Corinne is not mischievous at all. So this might be a little bit difficult to convince this woman, but basically the goal is for her to get close to her because she wants her to try to, she wants to be able to figure out what she's up to. And she's thinking that if they get close to her, maybe she will start hinting or she's like dropping, yeah, dropping hints that she like what she's up to. And then maybe Corinne can find out if she is the one behind behind the disappearance of her family and of Baron Graham's family as well. So she's basically just trying to find out a little bit more information. So she, Corinne knows, I think she's not really asked or not really kind of practice any mischief magic. So we'll have to see if she can, if Azula is willing to teach her anything because if Corinne gets powerful enough, then she can be able to like, like duel her and it would be a huge thing. Although Azula is like trying to teach and like Corinne is facing the other way. So something's wrong with this animation right now. Oh, and then she has a wand. Azula has a wand. Maybe Corinne should get a wand. I kind of thought just like the hand thing was cool. I think, I think just the hands are fine. I really don't think she needs a wand. I, wands are basically just an accessory. Like they don't do anything else. So I think Corinne is fine. <gasps> Whoa, guys, Azula just became good friends with Princess Corinne. That was really fast. So apparently Azula trusts her, I guess, because she is, I mean, I don't know, guys. She is willing to teach her. They became good friends already. So Azula seems to trust her. And if Corinne can gain her trust, maybe she can be able to find out some more information, hopefully. Maybe if Corinne shares a secret with her, then maybe she'll tell her some things too. Oh gosh, okay. Princess Corinne has discovered a new spell. Deliriate? Does that make someone delirious? I feel like that would make sense if it did. Okay, deliriate. Reach into a Sim's head and scramble their thoughts. Yes, it does. So what other things? Burg burgliate? So I guess I'm assuming you rob someone. Infatuate makes someone infatuated with you maybe? So these are like strangeify. Okay, so these are definitely not as powerful as the untamed magic ones. Okay, so I do think that, oh my God, they're like best friends now, you guys. What? <laughs> that was so fast. That was like really, really strange how fast that was. Okay, so Corinne, she should practice her magic, but should she do that on Azula? I don't, I, I feel like Azula would get really, really mad if she were to like make her catch on fire. So she probably shouldn't do that. But I feel like, okay, I think she's gonna talk to Azula a little bit. I feel like Corinne is gonna say to Azula like, like, oh, I heard you have been gone for a while. Like, where were you traveling? Where were you? So maybe Azula will tell her a little something. Okay, guys, so Corinne and Azula are now down here on the lowest level of the headquarters, which is really creepy looking. Okay, so I feel like Corinne is telling her like, oh, I heard you were gone for a while. Where did you go? Like, did you go on some sort of trip? Or like, where were you? Basically trying to get her, oh, wait, there's a familiar orb here. <gasps> Oh, the leaf bat, guys. Wait, that's just downstairs, so you can get 
this whenever you want. Oh my God, it's a leaf bat orb. Those things were so cute. Can I just, I'm just gonna take this. Hopefully she won't notice that, but we just robbed her. Hopefully she doesn't see that at all. I feel like though, if she found out, there would be some sort of consequence. Okay, so Princess Corinne has found out that Azula is a genius. So that might be hard to deceive her if she is a genius. Okay, so I feel like Azula is telling her that she was just taking care of some business and she had to travel for a bit and that is is why she was gone. I feel like Azula is really not telling her too much, even though they are pretty close. So Karina has to be careful not to accuse her of anything and like not to be suspicious. Like, why is she asking so many questions? So Karina is kind of like laying off that like, oh, that sounds like fun. And then I think she's just gonna kind of leave it at that. Although we do want her to teach us like more magic because I, I think she's telling her the reason because I feel like Azula would not be teaching someone without uh, like a good reason like if she didn't see a good reason to teach her so let's see where can we do uh oh I, okay yeah, ask for magical training so i feel like she told azula that the reason why she wants to learn mischief magic specifically i feel like she's lying to her like there's like an ex-boyfriend or something like that that is with someone else and i feel like that like for some reason clicked with azula so she was like oh okay like i totally understand that uh, I will teach you mischief magic so you can like do what you will with that. And I do think that Azula does know untamed magic. I feel like Corinne asked her like, so do you know like the other magics as well? And Azula was like really weird about it and was like, yes, I have, of course, like to be a powerful wizard, like you should know all three of the types of magic. So I do know it. And then I feel like she was acting a little bit weird about that. Okay, so I think Corinne should report back to King Jared and tell him what she has found out. I feel like King Jared's like, okay, we need to go back to the kingdom and tell Emperor Zhao what we know. So they're going to head back to Glimmerbrook. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's snowing. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, but it's only fall. Like, yeah, I still, I changed the seasons to 28 days for a season. So now it's fall. But yeah, King Jared is going to be turning into an elder soon. And then little Prince Takachi is also going to be turning into a child soon. So we are now back here. Why is King Jared? sad. Sad about evilness. Oh, that's probably because of Zula because she is an evil, evil sim. So, okay, they're here now. So they need to go talk to the emperor. Okay. So they're all talking now. So they're telling the emperor, uh, then filling him on everything that has happened. And I feel like they're like, okay, you need to tell us more information because we have like not been able to figure this out. Like the sage of mischief magic has been really, really kind to Corinne. Like, are you sure she's behind all of this? Cause Corinne can't seem to find out anything. And the emperor is saying like, like, yes, you have no idea. And they're like, okay, well, you need to tell us what's going on. So the Emperor is now telling them that he knows the Sage of Mischief Magic because Lily hit a Corinne's mother when the Emperor was engaged to her. Her father, Victor, Corinne's father, Victor, Azula was in love with Victor, like so crazy in love. Together, you and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the Earth! So when Lily and Victor ran away, Azula came to the Emperor, Emperor Zhao, and told him, I am going to try to get Victor back. I know you want to get Lily back, so we need to find a way. And then Azula told the Emperor that she had discovered this magic realm and that she had already been in there and she had talked to the then Sage of Mischief Magic and decided to become a spellcaster and told Emperor Zhao that he should become one too and together they would be able to get back Lillian Victor and Emperor Zhao did decide to do it so he was a spellcaster at one point but then things got out of control and he had a familiar that actually saved his life because he almost died and he didn't want to risk his life again so he decided to not be a spellcaster anymore because you can do like what dissolution of magic or ask, ask a sage to do that or something like that so they can make you no longer a spellcaster so then the emperor vowed to never go back but Azula got really angry with him and threatened that if she ever saw him again that she would make his life miserable because he decided to bail on their plan so that's why Emperor Zhao knows that she's behind all of this because he knows her that's why he couldn't go into the realm because of her 
her. So now Corinne, I feel like, is very convinced, like, okay, it's Azula. She had a thing with my father. Like, that would explain a lot why she would have taken them, why she would have wanted them to disappear, although it doesn't make any sense why the other family would have disappeared. So she needs to get to the bottom of that and figure out why. So guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I apologize it wasn't too much action. It was like a lot more storytelling, but in the next episode, we will do a lot more action because I feel like Corinne is going to be very, very determined now to get her family back. So if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!